In this video, I'm going to show you the kids math equation feature of the puzzle generator. So the first thing we do, once we're in PowerPoint as per normal, click puzzle generator tab at the top. And then we can select our trim size for our um, book. I'm going to stick with 8.5 by 11 and then click puzzles and then go almost all the way across to kids math equations here so we click this here now our first option is to add a game explanation if you wish now this is just a super simple how to play or how to you know complete the equations you can add to this delete this include it or not include it completely up to you if you want to change it you can just type in here as per normal and then if you want to include it tick add game explanation here if you don't just click continue like so now our first option here at the top is our color picker tool now this will enable us to change the color of both the equations font and the headers font and then once you update it for example equations font is currently on grey if I click black it will then update there and the same on the headers font currently black if I click grey it will update there now for both the headers font and the equation font you can of course choose from all the fonts that you've got installed on your PC choose your sizing and your styling and then once you've chosen all that our next option here is to set a page title so this will be the main title at the top so for example if you put uh, maths as it is now the pages will be uh, num numbered and titled maths 1 maths 2 maths 3 and so on uh, for all of your pages our next option here is a date name and class so for example if you're creating worksheets for class you might want to include these which brings me on to our uh, next option here what we can do is if we don't want certain elements say for example well i'll show you first so at the moment let's put this in like so just to show you how it generates normally So with our titles, obviously, see we've got maths one, maths two, and then we've got maths one solution and maths two solution. And then we have obviously our class, our name, and our date. Now, if I just undo that quickly, oh, my one, undo, and we go back into the kids' math equations. Uh, what we can do is hide some of those elements so for example you may wish to hide the title the name class date name and class name and class and date which would just leave you with the title or all of the headers so i'm going to go with to hide all of the headers like so our next option here is to choose how many pages worth of kids math equations we want to create um, now the more you choose powerpoint will slow down as it progresses so just bear that in mind when you choose how many to create our next option here is to start our numbering app so at the moment and by default in most instances it would be one but say for example you generate a hundred um, equations or hundred of different sort of puzzle and you wanted the numbering to continue so it was 100 what you could do is put in here 101 and then it would start generating the numbering from um, equation or puzzle 101 and so on our next option here is to do with our layout so as you might have saw um, when i quickly generated the page previously it's in a sort of a table layout if you were with four rows and three columns you can tweak and adjust that 
all the way up to three columns and seven rows. So I can just show you that now. Like so. And obviously you can play around with that to get the uh, look that you're after or the number of um, um, math equations that you're after. You can see there's all different styling, all different sort of looks you can have and um, in all different ways as well. For example, if you were doing it this way, you could make the equations a lot bigger, like so. Again, something for you to play around and find the right fit um, for your book or worksheets. We go back in again to kids math equations, change that back down to 16 and back up to do six by three. Now our next option here is to choose the uh, different operators um, op that are used. So you can choose just to have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or a mixture of them. So if I just choose um, addition, all of the um, equations generated will be addition um, equations. If I choose another option, it will be, uh, say, division or multiplication or subtraction or a variety of them randomly. So if you choose, if you do choose um, all of them, it will be a random mixture of them. So if you wanted to create different sections, what you'd need to do is say create five pages of addition and then once you know the last number of the equation say it was um, 96 so then you'd start at 97 and then you generate your subtraction or your multiplication or whatever section you want next so put that back down to one and then so you ignore that plus sign just for now um, because it's partly to do with our next um, setting here, which is our difficulty. Now with the kids math equations, the difficulty is simply only set by the range of numbers in each equation. Now, obviously in theory, one to nine is super easy. 10 to 99 a bit harder, 100 to 999 even harder, and 1,000 to um, 999,999 is a lot more difficult. So that's how they're set in here. Now, what you can do if you're not a fan of, of that or want to change it or mix it up a little bit, you can click the little plus here and now this will give you some extra options. Um, for example, you can write in your own uh, minimum value and your own maximum uh, value. You can do that for the operands and the results. And you can also change the number of operands that you have. So let's just um, say you wanted, I don't know, let's do 50 to 150. And let's increase that to three. And if we just generate that to show you. See now the sums, as you can see, there's three rather than two, and it's a little bit more complicated. Again, please do play around and um, to find your ideal settings for um, your worksheets or your books. Again, you have the same with the results. And again, you can have two or three. 
go to two. And then we have um, working out the results like so. Undo that, go back in again. And there we go. So obviously while this is active, this will um, this will turn gray and so will the guessing mode. That's simply because you've set in here. And if you want to uh, not set in here, just go back to the dashes here and then that will activate the difficulty setting here and the guessing mode here. Now, as you might have guessed, and as we've just um, had a look at, the guessing mode is simply um, what the user guesses. So by default, it's the results, but equally, if you wanted to, you could change it. So they have to guess the number like so. I just undo that, go back in once more. Now our next option here is to show the equation number. So that's the numbering of our um, equations or puzzles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. We can of course then choose our um, format, either with a dot or a bracket like so. And then we've got our display mode here. Now, depending on your settings, this may um, be automatically selected for you and you can't change it. Um, but we've seen horizontally. So if I show you vertically. Like so. So rather than the equation, um, being across, it's out in the opposite direction like so. And then if we just undo that quickly, and we go back in. And now our last option, which probably needs absolutely no explanation whatsoever, but it's our margin. So if you want to have a margin on your page, obviously tick the add left and right margin here choose your margin size and click OK and it will generate. OK, thank you for watching this quick introduction to the Kids Math Equation Generator in the Puzzle Generator, which is, of course, a PowerPoint add-in. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching.